you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the pretty crazy training market crash. Now, if you guys have not been up to date with your training values and your chems and all the stuff you could use training on power up cards, now is probably one of the best times you're going to have for a little bit to start getting training. So like I said, I think this market has crashed in anticipation of Mud Heroes. So I don't really think Mud Heroes will affect the market too drastically. Maybe some top end cards, but like nothing as an overall. But based on what the market has crashed to, the training market, which coincides right with that because it's the training value, has died with it. So if you guys did not know, 88's prior rested at around 100 to 115k, somewhere between there. They are now below 90k. Training has dropped drastically. Before, most training values were above in like a few weeks ago, right? Like three or four weeks ago. Training values, a good one sat in like the 40 range. Then like a week or two ago, a good one sat like in the high 30 range. Now, almost all of them sit in the 30 range, whether it be low, mid, or high. Sorry, I got really close to the camera there. I was itchy. Now, anyways, the point being here is that with all these, all this value being gained through power, what's it called? Training quick sells. If you guys understand, I'm calling cards training quick sells because they have training value. If you can gain all this value through that, now might be the time where power up cards are more worthwhile and as our abilities. Because prior to this market crashing, evasive went for 1,500 which before would cost you close to like give or take a little under 100k but now with the price of 26 uh 2640 training being about 88k it literally means evasive only costs like 35 to 40k you guys get the point if you buy everything efficiently it's pretty crazy what the thing is died so i'm gonna go one by one on all these like i usually do i have the whole spreadsheet right in front of me to go over for the video but guys before i get into this video make sure to go down below Smack that subscribe button, boys. We're grinding to 9K. You guys have been killing it with the sub button, the like button, so on and so forth. So let's get to 9K as quickly as possible so we can then start our 10K journey, which is not too far behind, hopefully in October. Right in time for the Mutt promo in October, which is the Easter, Easter promo. The October promo. Also, make sure to turn on that noti bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Get this video to 200 likes. And comment down below what you guys have, what's your preferred option to buy for training. Now, starting off with the 80s, 81s, which I always say, they don't change too much in value. But the little that they do is a big indicator of where the market stands at this moment in time. So just seeing these at 10K lets me know that if I search these up individually, they probably go for less. I did see them for about 8K yesterday, 9K right there. I'm not going to go in depth on finding them at their cheapest, but the market average is about 8,700. When you search these up individually, if you find the right team, you'll find them for about 8,700. So with that math, it's trading value is 190 training. So you divide 8,700 by 190, you get 45 coins for training. Now that's not that great. That's pretty horrible. But the 80s are always going to be one of the worst training values because they're base, they're the lowest base elite. So their values kind of boosted because they're an elite, but they really should be worth less, but it's hard to sell an elite for any less than that. So they're always going to be boosted, which is why we do not rely on them for training. But them being at 45 is huge because a few weeks ago they were at 65. So them being at 45 says a lot about what the other cards are doing. So the 81s, right? Let's, let's use Philip Lindsay right there on the Broncos. You search them up individually. Again, you might have to, it might take a few tries to find the one you want to search up. But if you search them up and you find the right one, you'll probably find them for about 10,500, between 10 and 11K. So you do that math, you divide it by 265, which is the training value, and you get 39 coins per. 81s have never been in the 30 range. So that's, that's pretty good news, which means, again, it's really good insight towards what the higher overall cards could be looking like now. Now, coming over to the 82s to 83s. The 82s right here, we use Amari Cooper, for instance. Again, I'm, they might not be any cheaper. They'll be cheaper for some cards, but I don't know the exact one. So right here, Demarcus Lawrence, 16K. You take 16K and you divide it by his training value, which is 365. It's 47 coins per. Again, 82s and 80s are never the best. 81s are never really that good either. It's as we get higher overall cards that we start to really see the value. So now the 83 overalls, again, where we start seeing some value. Let's use Kyle Fuller right there. 83s are about 22K, but I'm again, I'm going to search it up so we can get the actual price or at least a good idea of what a price will look like so 20k you take 20k and you divide that by 505 training points and you get 39 coins per so again it's getting better so so far we got the 81s and the 83s in the 30 range high 30 range which we have never seen before and they never really were that cheap now i'm gonna look this up by i'm gonna go with veterans veterans are usually the cheapest 
So 84s are 28K. You take 84 overall, divide the 28K by 700, you get 38 coins per training. So again, 84s are trending in the 30 range now. So now we go over to the 85s. Again, gonna use veterans because veterans are usually pretty cheap. You can get veterans for about 31K to 32K. Now, if they're 31K and you divide in 85, which is 970 training, you get 32 coins per training. That is the best value I believe recorded on this channel to date in our training series of, po you know, from the cheapest values. I'm pretty sure 85 veteran cards, if my math is correct, make sure to always double check before you do anything that I say, or in general, anyone in life, always double check in case. I believe 32 is the lowest recorded value so far on this channel. Now let's come over to 86s, right? I'm probably gonna use heavyweights for these. Oh no, there are veterans. We can use veterans here. Okay, so 86s go for about 50K flats so where I'm gonna go. You take 50K and you divide that by 86 overalls, which is 13, 1,340. You divide that, you get 38 coins per training. I honestly thought it'd be a little bit better than that, but it was not. But 38 coins per training is still really good. What this is telling me is that if you have any cards between 84 overall and about a 90 overall, you pretty much get to go to quick sell. You don't have to go adjust. And I'll get over all that later in the video when I give you my tips, so stay tuned for all that. Now, 87 overalls. Are there veteran 87s? Yes, there are. Pretty much 87s are about 60K. That's kind of like the consensus I've come to. They're like 63K, 60-ish K. We can take a six, uh, 87 overall. They quick sell for 1,860. You divide them by about 60K. You get about 34 to 35 coins for training. That's really amazing. Again, an awesome value. So far, that's what I love about all the flashback heavyweights and veteran cards. There's so many of them that it produces a really good chance to get really good training value. Now we come over to the 88s, 89s. Um, let's see where they are at. I'm gonna go with, I'll see, I'll sort these by legends, right? So yeah, 88s are 84K, but realistically I'm gonna go with 88K as the median or what it usually sells for because 84K is just a sniper right there. So 88K, divide that by 2,640 and you get 33 coins per training. That is also very cheap. So, so far we got the best ones. We got 38, 32, 38, 36, 33, 30, yeah, 33, right there. That's where we're at. Now for the 89s. Again, we could do flashbacks for these. We could do heavyweights, but I think Legends should work at about 112K. At 112K, an 89 sells for 35, uh, 3,570, which is 3,570. You divide that in, you get about 31 coins for training at 112K, right? Now, if we go by their medium, which I believe is more like 118K, you end up with about 32 to 33 coins per, which ties with the 88s and the 85s, with the 85s still taking the lead slightly. Now... So go over to the 90 overalls, which again should be the highest here. I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go much higher than that. These are about 185. You can find them for about 175. Let's go at 180. 180 divided by 4,940 comes out to about 34 coins per training. So this is so far the top three we got. We got 85s coming in at number one with 82 coins per. We got 89s coming in at about 32 to 33, depending on what type of price you get them for. And then we got 88s coming in at 33 coins for training so 88s 89s and 84s are the 85 is the best ones my personal recommendation go with those 85s because again when you buy the higher cards these are my tip fellow i was talking about when you buy the higher cards you're heavily investing into a lot of training let's say you have 300k on your team right now you only have 300k coins and you need 1,000 training or no, let's say you have 200,000 coins and you need a thousand training would the smarter thing be to buy a john elway right here and use all your coins and be broke but you got a really efficient value? Or do you rather just always get the cheap cards? Because for me, if you need a thousand training, you buy 185 and you're literally at a thousand, you have a 970 training. And all that costed you was about 30K. Now here, you get almost 5,000 training for almost the same value. You're, if That's the beauty of having a card that's really cheap and a low overall that has the best training value. Because you can just keep buying those. I'd rather buy 485s for 120K or if I need like 1,400 training, I'd rather buy 285s instead of having to buy a massive 88 like this. Now, again, if you need like, if you need like 2,000, 3,000 training, it might be better off just buying an 88. But in my opinion, you can't go wrong with 30K cards. You could just keep buying, it's, it's not that much coins. You could just keep buying those until you get the amount of training you need. You can't really overdo it getting 900 at a time. You can overdo it getting 2,640. I had multiple times when 88s were the only good value. Many times I was caught myself buying an 88 for 130K to get a thousand 2640 training when all i really needed was like 810 a thousand but it made sense because it just it was so efficient but in my personal recommendation guys i think now is the time to start purchasing training now is the time to start investing 
and starting to build up your team of power ups. You can finally start trying out abilities. Would I wait for certain abilities? Yes. And that's only because Mud Heroes is coming soon. There's going to be a lot of other players. So I wouldn't go full fledged in on abilities until you know what players come out that you're going to want. But if you want to power up some guys, like you want to get the uh, Calvin Johnson free safety powered up and you want to get his like 90 overall power up with a Brian Dawkins 89, go ahead. You can do that stuff. I just wouldn't heavily invest in every ability or X Factor yet until you know exactly how you plan to make your team come Mud Heroes. But as a whole, guys, be efficient with your training. I hope this video helped you guys a ton when it comes to the training front. I haven't made one of these in like two weeks because the training hadn't changed much. It was just down, down, but this is like really down. This is like historically low so far in this game. Last year at the same time, I don't know. I don't think training was this low at this point last year. At this point last year, I think training was still kind of high. I don't think it ever really got to this much of a low point, but it's a different year, different Madden. I could be wrong. I don't know. I didn't exactly track it last year, guys, but I hope this helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. You won't regret it. Daily content, packs, gameplays, everything else that comes with Madden. I do it all. Turn on that noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Comment down below what you've been using for training and what you plan to use your training on. And also, smack the like button, boys. Let's get this to 200 likes. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your football Sunday. I know I'm about to go start watching in about 20 minutes. I'm out. Peace.